It's uh, kind of a long time since Dark Shadows, and I can't remember the feeling except mostly of pleasure, but it was a whole different uh, ball game, I hate to say that word, uh, bec because of the later on in the costumes and, and the atmosphere, the atmosphere of the, of the story is the thing that I think affects the feeling that we have more than anything else. And indeed, we were gothic, and the rain was... It, the sun never shone in Collinsport. It was always raining, and the lightning, the thunder was cracking out there. That would affect, I think, one's feelings, some, as it would in real life. And the, the feeling you have uh, so many years later in All My Children is quite different. Uh, the company is different, which I suppose accounts for the main thing. It's a contemporary thing. Acting is, is a challenge period from day to day. It, it has, it, 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 for me, I was trained as a, as a costume actor, shall we say. It, my, my training at, at, at Carnegie Tech, now Carnegie Mellon, was in the Chekhov, the Shakespeare, the Shaw. So I was quite at home when we got to the period part of Dark Shadows. In fact, being a smarty, I thought I knew it all and was ahead of everybody. You know, I would even go over to somebody and say, you don't hold a fan that way, you hold it this way. And I was right, but um, because of the training we had had. But acting is a, uh, is a daily challenge, you know, it's just... I always li liken acting to tennis, I really do. I think that every time you serve, there's the minute the ball leaves the, your racket and bounces over, and the challenge is on, you know, it's a minute-to-minute -minute thing, and the same thing in, in acting. It's a challenge <laughs> to live, really, minute-to-minute, -minute. because you never know what's going to happen, and you try to be in control of it not happening if it's not good. I like to tease, but only when it's not dangerous uh, for the other actor, or when, it's, when it doesn't hold things up, you know. I think it's fun to tease sometime, and you do that out of... Um, you're setting people up whom you love, really, is what it comes down to. I wouldn't give five minutes to, to someone who didn't interest me, you know, as a, as a performer. So it's always the people that you kind of like or on your wavelength. And uh, it's, not, it's not mischief. It's, um, it's a little private joke that, um, that you keep from the audience. And if you don't keep it from the audience, it has to, you have to stop and do it again. And I try not to go that far. It was kind of a first. Uh, it was sort of a daytime gothic series. It had uh, the most unusual thing about it, of course, was the introduction of a, of a, of a little vampire who, who, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, was a loving character, you see. Um, he had the sympathy of the audience. He had the romantic pull with the young girls and uh, the, the horror. Well, I mean, every every high school students uh, fell out of the buses to get home in time to see the thing, you see. Um, it was a first, and I think that uh, uh, when you see it replayed, I, I saw it replayed once, I think, or twice when they did it the last time, and uh, it, it did seem like seeing kind of an early Hitchcock. Uh, to me. Maybe I fancied that, but there was something about that. The, the, there's a quality to the work, I think. Even, and even the dear mistakes of seeing a camera boom occasionally and seeing a great heavy door shake like a leaf when somebody stands. It's, uh, even so, I think it, it, it had a little merit quite apart from uh, any other soap, surely. And I think it's natural that uh, and uh, the, the hard work of the organization of the young people who have kept it alive through these annual reunions and conventions and whatnot, uh, I think they've, they've done a wonderful job, and I think that too is partly responsible for, for the interest taken in it. K Katie Scott told me about this the other day. Um, she put out this book, you know, and uh, very sweetly, and then uh, the pictures of us and stories of us, and I've looked at the pictures, but I haven't read the book. As a matter of fact, I loaned the book to one of the cameramen from Dark Shadows, who is now with us in All My Children, and he hasn't given it back to me. But at any rate, I remember that uh, in those days it was, it was expensive to stop the camera and start it up again, and I thought I was through. And I went upstairs to the dressing room and started taking off everything. And Bob Costello, the producer, came screaming up the stairs, you're back on, you're back on. 
I said, oh my God. <laughs> so, so it was too late to redress, which is better than the story I remember. I remember pulling up my britches and running down those little narrow stairs saying, hold the tape, hold the tape. But what they did was, they, they, I don't think they stopped the tape, thereby saving $500 or something, and they got me in t to the mantelpiece and they just shot like this, you know, and I was probably naked as the day I was born below. And I was shaking so from the nerves of it, you see, that I was holding this glass of wine, <laughs> which Katie said was spilling all over the place. Now that's funny. <laughs>